Bungie has announced that Destiny's update will focus on celebrating the rare variety of companionship that can only be found in the heat of battle. I don't know what that is. I think it's like making out. Dubbed Crimson Days, the event will start February 9th, just in time for you to tell your Valentine that dinner's off if you're an awful person and that's how you treat your Valentine. Crimson Days fixes some bugs and implements some improvements, but the hot piece of news is the 2v2 Crucible mode called Crimson Doubles, which is brand new. This info drop is hot off the heels of some news at the release of the sequel to Destiny, which hasn't even been officially announced or publicly acknowledged for that matter, has been pushed back from its alleged September 2016 date. Do with that information what you will, but the takeaway here is that Half-Life 3 is confirmed. Ooh, I just spoiled it! Half-Life- No, just kidding, it's not. I was super mean of me, I'm really sorry. It's just one of those weeks. Yesterday's news of Nintendo changing a controversial scene in the Western version of Fire Emblem Fates has garnered a response today from the company. Talking to Silicon Era, Nintendo stated making changes is not unusual when we localize games, and we have indeed made changes in these games. When we localize a game, we do so in order to make it appropriate for that particular territory. All our choices were made from that point of view. In the Conquest Edition, a male main character created by the gamer can pair up with another male character, Niles, which ultimately leads to marriage. Similarly, in the Birthright Edition, a female main character created by the gamer can pair up with and eventually marry another female character, Rajat. Like married couples of the opposite gender, these same-sex couples enjoy the stat boosts that come with marriage, which means when they are paired up in battle, they are stronger than when they are apart or paired up with another character. Aww. In the third edition, Revelation, that will be released as DLC in the eShop on March 10th, a same-sex marriage is possible regardless of the sex of your main character, as both Niles and Rajat can be encountered in this edition. As for me, I just want to marry a Yoshi because they can lay eggs for me every morning for breakfast and also ride me to work. I, it was, it was, I, it's really gross. I'm, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> On a lighter note, the second week of Nintendo's winter warm-up sale is in full force, and there's a cool batch of discounts of titles for the Wii U and 3DS. This week's theme is Jumpin' Fun. Yeah, that's, that's this week's theme. Just, not old, just, not just fun or just jumping, just jumpin' fun. Put them together and just get that going. Do it on your couch. And Nintendo has discounted some of the Wii U's most popular platformers, including Super Mario 3D World for $42 and Rayman Legends for $28. Both of those games are really awesome, by the way. You should buy them. Also on sale for the Wii U is the original Donkey Kong Country for under $6 and Game & Wario for $21. If you're looking for some legitimately awesome 3DS games, you can get SteamWorld Dig for $5 and Sonic Generation for $21 as well. Again, I love both of those games, so this is, like, this is not even off script. Personal recommendations here. Those are awesome games. Nintendo's highlighting a new genre next week, closing out the three-week sale, so make sure you take advantage, you filthy animals. And that's your Daily Fix for January 22nd. I'm Brian Altano. Remember, you can get your fix anytime online at IGN. And also remember, it's a new year. That means it's time to clean up some old bad habits and start some brand new good ones. Clean up your bedroom a little bit. It's gross. I can see it. I'm looking at you right now. Yeah, that camera works both ways. Oh yeah. Throw away those old loot crate boxes that don't have anything in else. They're just cardboard boxes. Put them in the trash. Shave your face, uh, but not too much. Get like a cool five o'clock shadow. It, it's totally working for me. And lastly, be nice to people on the internet. Don't start 2016 being a big bag of jerk garbage. That doesn't make you, you have to be, you have to like fake smile and put smiley emojis everywhere because that's fake. No one likes that. But here's a cool cheat code on how to be nice on the internet. When you have something mean to say, Type it in the comments section to get it out of your system, but then don't actually hit submit, and then you don't have to ruin anyone else's day, which means you get the personal therapy of getting that garbage, toxic trash out of you, and I get the therapy of feeling a little better and not having to read that mean thing you wrote. It works everywhere, so go out and try it today. I'm Brian Altano, this is 2016, it's another year, and that means it's gonna be great for video games, hopefully.